thank you for viewing us from the Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Joseph Forbes called Holy Prophet and Ambassador by the will of God. Coming to you again with another Kingdom Dominion Power Park session. At this time, we have in our studio, Pastor and Ambassador, Pastor Elvera from Madero, Philippines, Anti Polo City. She is coming to us at this time to be partaker with this seminar, online seminar, Pastor Elvera. to you by Global Diplomat College Center. Our vision transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Go and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that notification bell and, gi and gi give us your comments and likes and so that you can get the latest videos. These teachings are series so you can get part one, part two, part three, part four and become a disciple of the kingdom of God. And now we welcome Prophet Forbes from Global Diplomat College Center, United States of America. Good day, Prophet Forbes. Thank you. We have a question to you. Please explain to us what really is a parable. That is a fascinating question. Great question. I will discuss that in this seminar. The Bible is a collection of God's idea. It contains 66 books. Our session today is part one. We are part two and three there now, part one. Knowledge, secret of the kingdom. The kingdom is a country. It is a heavenly country. God is the king of king of the kingdom a kingdom is a government led by a king wow you been deceived you been misled you been miseducated by religion, by many religious group, certain religious group, you being miseducated, you being deceived. To be miseducated is to be thought wrong, and to be misinterpreted and misunderstand the scripture. The Bible is a keys. Christians have the keys in their hand, but they do not understand what the keys for. Wow. We began in the session on knowledge, secret of the kingdom. We will pick up where we left off from. Wow. This is why I speak to them in parable. A parable is a stylistic form of teaching. The teacher hides truth from the listeners. So when they have interest, they can receive them. Without interest, they cannot receive. 
you cannot understand the Bible only in with a kingdom mindset. Democracy is opposite kingdom. Am I clear to you? The kingdom is a government. Led by a king. What the kingdom is? A government. Led by a king. True seeing. They do not see. Why folks are not preaching the kingdom? The kingdom is the only message Jesus preached. The only message John the Baptist preached. The only message Paul preached. The kingdom is a government led by a king. Wow. God's original plan is to extend, to establish the nation of heaven on earth through his sons and his daughter. Through seeing, they do not see. Through hearing, they do not hear or understand. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. So through hearing, they do not hear the message because you shut up Woe to you, religious leader, religious pastor. It's the biggest enemy to the kingdom of heaven message. Woe to you, religious hypocrite, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven in man's face. You shut the door. You yourself do not want to become a kingdom citizen because of your religion. And you don't allow the folks who are partake of your ministry to enter in. So you lock out the ship, the kingdom of God, in my face. Wow. You shut it up in my face. You don't allow them to go in because you don't want to go in yourself. In this is fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah. You will ever hear and never understand how long you were a Baptist, a Catholic, a non-denomination, how long you were a Christian, how long you were a Seventh-day Adventist, Why? Because you hear the message of the kingdom. You never see it. And you never understand it. You will be ever seeing, ever never proceeding. For the heart of the people has gone collided, collisions. They hardly hear with the air. And they have closed their eyes. You closed the eyes for 1800 years. You closed the eyes from the kingdom message. Wow. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their heart, and turn, and I will heal them. Wow. Listen. I want you to listen. There are many voices in YouTube, preachers. There are many voices in Facebook. There are many voices on TBN. There are many voices on Instagram. There are many voices on WhatsApp. But there are only one voice, few voices of the kingdom there. Wow. Listen, listen to this voice of the kingdom. Listen to 
what the parable of the soul meant. Now, listen to this. The 19, when anyone hears about the kingdom and do not understand it. Yeah, you hear many times about the kingdom, but do you understand it? When anyone hears and do not understand it, this is one message the devil do not want you to get. Yeah, he don't mind you singing. He don't mind you doing ritual every Sunday. He don't mind you go to church and hear on the cross and the blood and Calvary. But he don't want you hear about the kingdom. Why? He was kicked out. He was evicted from a what? Kingdom. Wow. He was evicted from a kingdom. Um, anyone here and do not understand, then the evil one come. The devil only come for one message. It's the kingdom to snatch it away, which is sown in your heart. This is a seed sown in the path. One who received the seed fall on places. That means who hear the word and once receive it with joy, but since he have no root. You know, many people come to the kingdom services and they hear and they get excited. But after they went back to the religion and the pastor discouraged them and the people around them discouraged them, they get a snatch away out their heart. Have no root. Only for a short time. When trouble, when persecution come, because of the word, it's quickly fall away. The one who receive it fall among thorns. It's the man who hear the word, but worries. House note, car note, job note, children, pandemic, but worry of this life. Worry what they will eat, what they will sleep, how they will get food. Worry about the economy, worry about bills of this life and the deceitful of wealth. Choke it. Running after money, choke the word of the kingdom from some folks. They rather go to a religious service and sit down, dead service, and sit down for an hour or half an hour, sing some song, and go home. They're happy with that. You will never be satisfied in religion. Religion will make you happy but will never make you satisfied. Wow, 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 wow. But the one who receive this message, you got to receive. It was lost for 100, 1,800 years. It was stole by an unemployed sheriff. Satan stole the message. For 1,800 years, now you have to rediscover and you have to receive, get it back again. Any man receive the kingdom, he that receive the kingdom, the seed fall in good ground, good soul. It's the man who hear the word and understand it. Oh, what a great joy. What peace, what happiness, what joy you will have in your family. You understand your life is full of peace. Your life is full of joy. You get a Holy Ghost. You don't have to worry no more because the king is your king. You are under a new government. You're under a new kingdom. You're under a new leadership. You don't have to worry. Your joy. Oh, what great Blessing 
to understand it. He produced crop, yielding 160, 30 times, which was soon. Wow! It multiplied. The kingdom citizen multiplied. All over the world, in every country, in every race, in every creed, is about to multiply. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you for the time that you spend with us in the seminar. Pastor Elbert, where we pray. Pastor? Thank you again for viewing us. May God bless the United States of America. God bless the nations of the earth. Thank you for subscribing to our video. And those who did not subscribe, you can go and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And you can give us a comment. We appreciate you. May God bless you. May God bless your family. May God bless the nations of the earth. The next session, this is Joseph and Elvira from United States and, the, and Manila, Antipolo City, Manila, Philippines. Thank you. May God bless you.